All right, audio rolling? Rolling. Camera rolling? Rolling. Slate it? Yeah. TVA, so. interview right. scene, take one. Action. Hi, I'm Wes Hartshorn. And I'm Trey Kaufman. Together we own Vices Films. Between the two of us, we have over a decade of filmmaking experience. So we've taken that and we're starting a campaign to raise money from Ohio for Ohio to produce a feature film called the Ohio Grassroots Campaign. The goal of the Ohio Grassroots Campaign is to raise $50,000 and use that money only on Ohio-based companies. Not one cent will go to large corporations or franchises. It's our way of saying thank you, Ohio, for supporting our dreams. All of our food, props, wardrobe, film equipment rental, crew, everything is going to be from Ohio. Now, it may take a little bit of extra time scouring garage sales and flea marks to find all the props that we need, but in the end, we truly believe that the hard work will pay off. So we've taken the time to sit down with other Ohio filmmakers, distributors, and other influential people in Ohio filmmaking. We hope you enjoy. Well, I think the biggest advantage we have probably the really diverse settings we can provide. You know, you can be within a 15 minute time period, you can go from a urban environment um, that looks competitive with any major market in the United States to someplace with rolling hills and lots of trees. And, and uh, so from that perspective, a, a filmmaker can really present multiple environments in a very short, easy amount of time. Uh, for us that are making films in Ohio, that would be a, almost a no brainer question. Ohio has a lot to gain. I think they're missing out on tons of uh, revenue, not only on the small independent level. Well, there's a lot of obvious gains from producing films in Columbus. I mean, first and foremost is the business uh, impact on the community. Uh, you know, film production is a, is a big job and gives people jobs and it, and it also um, it does a, a really uh, good service to the community in, in presenting local environments and there's something uh, profoundly interesting when you watch a film and you see someplace you recognize on the street. Uh, you know, if you filmed outside here, you would see these buildings, and of course, that's really interesting for local people when watching local films. And the old expression is dollars to donuts. I, yeah, obviously, the cost is, is considerably less on an independent level. Well, it's exponentially less. Um, certainly, it depends on the scale of the film. Um, you know, there are certainly small independent films made on low budgets in Los Angeles and in other parts of the country. But if you know, two films at the same level and scale of activity, you're probably looking at about a you know 10% to 15% cost to film them locally as opposed to going to California. Well, I think the biggest mistake local filmmakers make is that they think making film is all about the creative process and they forget that it's a business. Um, it, the, as I mentioned several times, the creative part is extremely important and if you don't have good source material, you're not going to have a good film. But just because you have a good film doesn't mean anybody's going to watch it or that you can get it into theaters or you can get it in front of the right people. So it is a business first and foremost and if there isn't uh, an opportunity to get it out there or a business plan or a plan to get it made, it's probably not going to be successful. What I do see is uh, a lack of pre-production, a lack of planning. I think sometimes people get ahead of themselves and they think about the finished product rather than maybe the steps to get from there. Well, it's a challenge. Um, for, every, uh, for every success story of someone making a film under $50,000, there's a lot of stories of people who made films for that amount of money that didn't work. But again, coming back to my last point, if you've got a great screenplay, you've got good writing and, and creative, innovative filmmakers, you can make a film for significantly less than $50,000 that's really compelling and entertaining for an audience to watch. If you work smart, if you plan, if uh, people will work for a discounted rate, if um, you, know, you really know what you're doing, yeah, I think you can make a feature film for $50,000.